All right, hey guys, we're back with the Fun Friday activity. My name is Jordan. I'm from the Angel Decor Museum. Um, today we're gonna do a frozen bubble activity, and I think this will be so fun to do with your kids, your nieces and nephews, or maybe if you're babysitting that weekend, this is something, and it's cold out, this is something fun you can do. So, um, I have two special guests with me today, and this is... Hi, B. my name is Araya Blackfish. I'm from the Winnebago tribe. And my home track name is Hoshak from T O P Union. It means a good experience with the blackfish. And I'm here to help Jordan with um, the boat. Okay, and this is? Tilly. And my home track name is Ho Up Sapiga. And I come from the Winnebago tribe. And, I, and I'm eight years old. And she is going to help me out with this activity as well. So let's get started. Okay, so what you'll need. You're going to need a half a cup of corn syrup, a cup of dish soap, and three cups of water. And you're going to mix that all up in a bowl. So you're going to need a bowl. And then you're going to need some straws. I personally got some different size straws just so um, I could see if it made a difference with the bubbles. Um, the frozen bubbles. So let's get started. It's now it's time to make our bubble mix. So first you're gonna pour three cups of water. Now put in our dish soap. And last we're gonna put in our corn syrup. What is the corn syrup for guys? To make it thicker. To make our bubbles thicker. Yep. And to keep them from popping so fast. Yeah. Okay. Now let's stir. Yep, I'll stir it up a little bit and you guys can go ahead and stir it up. Go ahead. I definitely suggest um, you know, doing this on your kitchen table. It's gonna be a little messy, so but not too messy. Your bubble mix. Now let's test out the bubble mix. All right, so before we go outside and test out this experiment, let's make sure we can actually make bubbles first. Mm. So these guys are gonna use these bigger straws. I'm gonna try the, this smaller straw. So you're gonna kinda wanna mix it around a little bit. Uh, so this is a pretty successful bubble. Um, we're getting bubbles. So um, typically with this experiment, I was told that you want to do it um, like when it's really cold outside, like frigid cold, um, probably like zero degrees. Right now it's about 15 degrees out. So not quite cold enough for them to freeze, but definitely cold enough for them to kind of get a different look. So. We're gonna go test these bubbles out outside and try to get a couple pictures for you guys. All right, let's try this outside. It's kind of cold. I don't know if it's cold enough for frozen bubbles though. Oh, there you go, there's a big one. Oh, that was cool. Um, they don't, they're not like freezing, but you can definitely tell they're like changing colors. Like, like, they look like they almost have steam coming off of them. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at that one was really cool. And they're really holding their shape, so the corn syrup, definitely a good idea. 